What's up everybody, it's Charles. Today we are going to be doing a complete diagnostic scan on the Golf R. Now what I mean by a deep scan is we're actually doing a full scan of every bit of information basically in every single module. Our normal vehicle scan is very simply just checking codes when we do something like our gateway installation list or even just the full scan. We're gonna take that a level, actually like five levels further and do a complete scan with our VCDS scan tool. What this is gonna do is it's gonna go into every single module. It's going to scan all the codes, all the coding, but it's gonna do more. It's going to scan every measured value block and get the reading that it's currently at. It's also gonna scan every single adaptation. Now the best part about this is we can scan it, save it, and then if we have to, we can actually put that information back in. So if you are going to be modifying your newer VW or Audi, and by newer, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, and forward, I highly, like, I can't recommend doing this enough. Go through, do the full scan, that way, if you're trying to code your windows to work with your remote, and you don't get it working, you can easily, super easy, barely an inconvenience if you know that joke, you can set it back to what it was from the factory. This also plays in if let's say you're doing something like coding your windows to your remote, turning the sound actor off like we did, and you need to go in for warranty, you can reset it back to the way the factory is. Now, that may or may not impact your warranty at all, but it gives the technician working on it the proper baseline. So if you drive one of these newer cars, I do this, do this first, even if you don't plan on modifying, do this. You can even upload it to the VCDS forum so that they can have that information too and you may actually be able to help somebody out. But if you are modifying your car, again, I can't recommend enough, do this deep dive scan. You'll have all the information saved. You can go back and look through it if you need to. More importantly, if something gets messed up, or if a module gets replaced and you don't remember what you changed, you have all that information stored in it. It's also a good idea that after you do all your modifications to do another one and save that as well. If you're going to have key on engine off, you need to have a battery maintainer on it. This will probably take around 20 minutes to do a full entire scan of your vehicle. What I like even better is to just have the car running outside. So let's jump over to our scan tool and I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to do this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our VCDS program. Now I like to do the gateway installation list scan to make sure that I don't have any faults that I really should address before taking that initial baseline reading. Then we're gonna go ahead and save that auto scan back out to our main screen. We're gonna go to applications. We're gonna go to controller channel map. We're gonna highlight whole vehicle, can only. So if your car's 2005 and older, it may not do this the right way. This is for the CAN bus communication cars. Next, we're gonna select our function. For this case, we're gonna do measured values and adaptations. We wanna store it all. We'll keep our output as pre-label file, or you can save it as a CSV file, or you can save it as raw hex. If you save it as raw hex, that's what we're gonna use to restore the adaptations. Now, basically from here, the car does all the work. You just let the scan tool go. Again, make sure the car is running in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside, or you have a battery maintainer on it. And don't do like I did. Uh, make sure your laptop's not running any updates and make sure it's plugged in just in case you have a really terrible quality laptop like I have. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have it plugged in so your battery doesn't die. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys through this so you don't have to see every little bit of it. Again, this will take 20 or 25 minutes, give or take. This is even capturing the generic OBD information from mode nine, which is really cool. Once our scan is fully complete, we have all of our information saved. Now. If we want to be able to restore our adaptations, there's a couple of ways we can do it. We can do it for the whole vehicle like we showed here, but we do have to run the scan as raw hex. That's how we'll be able to take those adaptations and restore them back. We, however, do not have to do a complete vehicle scan in raw hex. We can do it for one individual controller address word. So we can do just engine. We can do just vehicle electrics, whatever we want. Personally, I would probably just run the whole car and have that information saved. After we do run that raw hex though, we'll be able to click the restore adaptations box and dump that information back into the module. 
All right, guys, so there we go. That's it. Super, super simple to do. A handful of clicks in about 25 minutes, and we have all that data stored from our car, and now we can do, again, a handful of things. Restore it back to factory settings. Let's say we change a bunch of stuff and we sell our car. We can set it all back to the factory settings for the new owner. So if you own one of these, highly recommend doing this scan. If you're a technician, it's not a bad idea to have all of this information too so that you have known good baselines for other cars. Let's say we had one of these with an idle issue. We have another car that we've extracted this information from. Now we can compare what is our coolant temp? What is our air take temp? What is our map sensor reading? What are all the other, where's our timing at, right? All these different inf readings, we have all that stored. Now I had the pleasure of hanging out with the guys at VCDS where they showed me how to do this when I was up in New Jersey for Waterfest. And in fact, they looked up when I bought my first VCDS cable. At the time, it was called VAGCOM, which it, that's still what I call it usually. And that was actually in 2005. So I've had, I've been using their software a long, long time. Love this stuff. If you're a VW Audi tech, this is a great addition to your diagnostic portfolio. If you're an enthusiast, I think it's worth the money. I know there's some of that are maybe a little bit more affordable, but as a diagnostic tool, to me anyway, this is the one that I prefer. So there we go, that's it. Questions or comments, dump them down below. If you guys like this VCDS series, let me know. I have a handful of other videos that I've been kicking around, but if this is something you guys are way interested in, I'll shove those up on the top of the list a little bit further. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again next time.